Okay, so welcome to How to You View. You know, um, episode four. Interesting concepts, you know, for you know the reaction. Anyways, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about interesting concepts that have really uh, come about um, from the anime. And these are things that the anime has really showcased, and they've been quite interesting and possibly, you know. I feel it could span its own thing and Konami has tried. Anyway, so we're going to talk about the first Yu-Gi-Oh! series and about Dungeon Dice Monsters. So, Duke Devlin, if you could explain more about Dungeon Dice Monsters, that could be really nuts. Go ahead. Dungeon Dice Monsters is a whole new game with a whole new set of rules. And to keep up, you're going to have to pay close attention. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I think I'm getting that, but can you um, just explain some few pieces again a little bit? Thank you. Hmm, looks pretty straightforward. <gasps> wow. Lost already? Relax, I'll walk you through it. That's your dice pool. I see. Now here's how it works. These dice are going to be kind of like your dueling deck. Okay. Shuffle your deck, we shuffle these. Like this. I see. Easy. The dice automator will randomize your 15 dice in groups of three. Take a look. Okay. Per round. You roll all three at the same time, and then you get to make your move depending on what you roll. I see. Now, take the three die out of the auto hatch. Okay. Now, how do you score? Well, in this game, we have heart points. They're like life points, only you only get three. That's it. And whoever loses all three of their hearts first is out. I see. Okay, so I want to say some fun facts, you know, about Dungeon Dice Monsters. Dungeon Dice Monsters is one of the first, uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! anime games that Konami did try to bring to real life. But unfortunately, they failed. Um, the game failed. It failed to launch. It didn't make a lot of sales. And I think this was the start of them not trusting things from the anime anymore, not really trusting their ventures. Because it's a shame as they come up with better ideas as, you know, we get, more, uh, you know, we go into more and more Yu-Gi-Oh! series. I'll be talking about these interesting concepts. Now, the issue with, um, as you can see, Dungeon Dice Monsters is it's, it's a little bit complicated, it's a little bit convoluted, especially when you have a game like Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a, little, a lot to process, a lot to whatever. Maybe it's a bit similar to, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, you know, who knows, maybe it's similar, but, you know, it could have been interesting. There could have been something there, but I mean, it's not been a total loss, as, as you know, we've had monsters from Dungeon Dice Monsters appear in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, they have paid homage to it, in future support over the years uh but and we do have dice cards and stuff like that so it's not yeah but anyways such is life such as how uh, things okay and now we'll talk about the next series one of the best ideas i've ever seen executed from konami in the Yu-Gi-Oh series and this comes from 5ds now 5ds to me, in my personal opinion, is the only Yu-Gi-Oh! anime that you can watch multiple times and get a different feel for it. The first time I watched 5Ds, I liked it because of the storyline. On the second uh, re-watching of it, I got to really understand the Speed World Speed Spell system. And uh, this is something that I've really liked the system. But anyways, let's have our resident um, announcer from the series explain more about the speed spell system. So can you please explain that to us as, uh, you know, announcer guy from 5Ds? Tell us more about the speed spell system. Okay. With their speed world field spells activated, the action's about to start. I see. Let's review the rules of engagement. Once Speed World has been activated, the only spells a duelist can use are Speed Spells. Okay. Normal spells now take a back seat to the action. Okay. 
Rider's strength is now governed by the duelist's speed counter. The more speed a duelist has, the stronger the move they can make. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands. Um, hopefully I'll see, hopefully you know, you'll, you'll subscribe to this channel. And uh, wait a couple of minutes and you'll, seconds, sorry, and you'll see some other videos that appear on my channel. Hope to see you soon and thank you.